is Jada Grant and I'm half Jamaican and half Turkish Cypriot. Definitely more of a thing out of choice, you know, like back in the day if there was a mixed race kid it was because, you know, the slave owner wanted to rape some one of his slaves but like, you know, I think it was like around the 70s, like post 70s, it, it was started becoming a thing and it wasn't accepted back then so like where where we were, like when, when I was growing up, that was sort of like kind of like a period where it was it wasn't a complete shock anymore. It was like it's a thing, but it's not how it is now. But now it's like you know that you see the Kardashians just popping out mixed race babies, like it's the new trend, and it kind of is. Like you see on Instagram, and it's all these women who like contour the fuck out of their faces to try and look mixed race and try and look like a, everyone. Everyone wants to be tan. Uh, it's, it's still quite mind boggling, you know. But not it's been like what even like almost ten years, like ten years, I'd say. To back when I started sort of questioning, but it, it still feels like a whole new kind of, you know, people thinking that I'm beautiful because of like the way I look. When in, in school it was like, you know, you're getting shouted at all these kinds of names because of the, your skin colour. It almost does just seem like a trend, like the way that it's just like sort of moved from where it was 10, 20 years ago when, you know, people like, like women, like women of colour like had to fight to have their place in in any entertainment business or like uh, actresses or like anything like that but obviously they were still like held for their um, musical talents but it's always seemed like now if you're like a beautiful like mixed race woman then you're you know there's, there's, like, a, there's like a need for that now in like you know wherever and it's almost like people are getting money or like feeding off of this 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 new trend that is more beautiful to have darker skin but not that dark you know like you know something nice in between N nice nice and tan you know everyone wants that golden tan but you're still like denying the fact not denying but sort of just dismissing it that there's a whole side of black culture there you know we're not we're not automatically like better or like or like given like a free pass almost by society just because we got some white in us. It doesn't really, doesn't really um, sit right. It might be like an ignorant thing that I don't feel privileged. Like maybe, like maybe, maybe I am privileged. Maybe um, being like skinned has, has gotten me into friendship groups that I wouldn't have gotten into if I was darker skinned or gotten me jobs or, you know, made me sort of stand out in the crowd or like somebody would have seen me and not automatically shut off if I was dark skinned you know but I, I, I don't know I, I, I don't know what goes through people's minds when they see me obviously like my mum's parents they weren't totally like all okay with her marrying a black man and having children with a black man so I think like deep rooted in it obviously they're, they're, they're fine now but deep rooted in it is like a tension because even though I can like speak and understand Turkish, I'll never be like completely accepted by them. And you know, I'll go to Jamaica and you know you're automatically getting stares. E either because it's they they like the way you look, or if it's because you know they don't you're not they don't think you really fit in with like one of those like one one, one of them. Um, I think there's definitely a tension on on, on both sides. It's. Um, you don't you don't really fit in uh, if you were to go and be completely submerged by the culture and by the society. So I think like in a way you kind of have you, you always have something more to prove. You gotta always feel like you have to prove yourself uh, that you know you can you can speak the way they speak or you know you can live the lifestyle that they live. But it's always like. A, I don't know, I'll go to Jamaica and it's almost like, because there is so much poverty, and it, I'm even looked at in a way as though, oh, you're, you've got a bit of white in you and you're like way richer than us, like, you know, why are you allowed this life? But then also on the Turkish side, it's like, oh, your your mum's, you know, whoever, whoever it was that mixed out of, because obviously they're uh, Muslim. So I guess it kind of helps growing up somewhere like England, because you, uh, there's, 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 there is more like multiculturalism 
whether it's accepted or not. Like, you've got to find people who look like you if you go far enough or if you look for it. Everyone who went to my school, I think I was like, you know, one of two black girls like in my year. Uh, um, so I would say, no, I don't, I don't think I fit in very well. Uh, I remember, you know, when you're a teenager, you sort of go through like you got all your friends and they're all doing one thing, so you will just do the same thing. And uh, like going out shopping with them for like makeup and seeing them move all like that, you know, dream that moose, and it's like you know, all the shades are there except yours, and like you just you just didn't see that, you know. It's it's definitely come a long way, but like growing up, I think the the idea of there being like a place for me, like me actually fitting like in society, it just didn't. Really, it felt so alien. Like it felt like I had to be like all these people around me and like uh, yeah so you know you, you dress up in all the same kind of clothes you go out with the same kind of people but I always felt like not isolated but isolated within myself because I just wasn't them and I think that also drove like this hatred uh, towards my toward my dad who's Jamaican it's just, it's just it's quite horrible to think back to but like there was like a bit inside of me that really really hated him like for being black and like thinking back to it now, it, it, I think it, it shows a lot about the, the circles that you're in and what that can do to um, how you feel about your, your identity. Uh, I'm not the kind of person who likes to identify myself with any kind of group, but if I, if I were to, then I would say that I, I feel more so connected to uh, my father's side, like the, the black side of me, the Jamaican heritage. Um, I think that's for like a variety of reasons. I think, um, along with like the acceptance of it, I've sort of gained more of like a reason to be proud of it and like a reason to remind myself, not to remind myself, but just to, just to, I feel good about it now, like, you know. And I feel like on my mum's side, which is the Turkish Cypriot side, um, I never really, you know, she never really uh, let me into her like heritage, like her, her, her culture, and many interactions that I've had with Turkish people. Um, you know, hearing them talk Turkish about me while I'm there, like the 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 way that they are in their in their mannerisms and uh, the the culture that they that they follow doesn't really resonate with me in the same way. And that's really much outside. Really, really cool. with water in my plants.